M0FXB, welcome to my channel. So I've been playing around with FT8CN, which is a free APK for an Android device, could be a phone or a tablet. So here we are, now I haven't set the frequency, it's been done by the app, and the cable I have is just a USB-C, which goes to the back of the FT710, which is a printer style, the square printer style. So if I unplug that cable, you'll see that the, 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 the software will tell me, look, that the connection is broken. And I'll plug it back in and then you'll see what happens when I plug it back in. So it, it detects the app or any other app when you're on the tablet. And then you get a choice of two COM ports. Now, I haven't actually tried both, but you've got two and the the description I do not recognize, but we tap one and it will say rig connection succeeded and it even sets the frequency and we can change, you can see the frequency has been set there, but we'll, if I scan back and select a different frequency, now here you've got three lines, vertical lines, if you tap them, you get the list of different frequencies. So let's just choose a random one. And look, the radio changes, okay? So, we've got cat control. Let's now have a quick look at some of the other screens. So we've got spectrum screen. If you just tap in the middle, you have this spectrum screen. Now the radio has selected data U and it's the board rate, I believe, is 38400. We will look at settings, so go to settings. Now remember, I'm I'm not really able, I am not TXing, and this is using the USB version, as you've seen, but you can select Vox or even Bluetooth, if you, you know, if your Bluetooth, if Bluetooth is in the radio, and I have tried this with X6100 and it did work via Bluetooth and my 705. So, next thing, actually, was it 705? Trying to think now. I might have tried both. Anyway, too many radios. So if you look at the settings, very straightforward where he's call sign grid. I haven't touched any of these. The frequency you don't really need to set. Control cat connection type USB. If you've got no cables, just just put it to Vox. Okay, so then we've got the board rate was set automatically because I've selected the FTDX10 radio. Oh, look at that what does that say tx watchdog so i don't really know what that means no response ignore where's the radio i just want to see where i selected ftdx there it is there rig ftdx 10 there's lots of rigs this will select as you can see back to 10 and then the next screen is decode you get the waterfall and the decode to get it into TX you hold down like so and you get these different choices I've only tried call you know and you've got a few choices let's try this one here now what I've noticed with the with the DX 10 setting is the radio will go into transmit and you can see if you tap here you can see the usual list but I've noticed that it uh, the rig connection is broken, I just need to get the connection a bit better. But I have noticed it stays in TX. So that's probably something to do with the fact that the rig connection is broken. So for now, I'll just quickly turn the rig off. And I'll try the other port. You can see when I disconnected it, you can actually hear the that's coming from the laptop. So just select that a minute. We'll try the other port, which is the second one here. Turn the rig back on. So when the rig's off, the FT8 starts to come out of the actual iPad. So let's just see if that's made any difference. Now to stop transmitting, you select up here where there's a little bell. The other thing is you've got this map here. Tap there and you get this map. It's all the grid there. I want to know how to keep that grid on screen because it vanishes. And you can zoom into the activity. Now, earlier, I was seeing myself when I was in Vox and some signals there. So the best thing is to download it, try it out, 
experiment and let me know if you can get it actually transmitting. So let's just go back to the normal screen with the back button. Remember this is an abloid, an, sorry, an Android tablet. If I say iPad, ignore me. Right, so we'll hold down. Call, okay. And let's see if it stays in transmit now. It might do nothing. That's on the other COM port, you get the choice of two. Let's tap that. Now that turns it off, that turns it on. Change, see if it even changes frequency. No, so if I swap back to the other COM, which is the one above. So we've selected the, the COM that see straight away, we've got rig control change frequency it will go into tx but the problem i'm having is it stays in tx as you saw let's just tell it oh there you are now it says a communication error the rig connection is broken so something is and it does say i think that said oodr so have fun with it try it out there's qso logs as well let's turn the radio off Learn about it and let me know. It's a free program. 7-3. Catch you on air. Bye for now.